Hi, welcome to Spirits of Positivity Christmas Story Special. From the story Santa is Coming to London, written by Steve Smallman and adapted and read by Paul MacDonald. Put your feet up, by the fire, get cosy and relax, for Santa is coming. Well, boom Santa, have all the children been good this year? Well, uh, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of the world had sent him. Mostly, asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses. Yes, uh, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better be off, get all the presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it onto Santa's sleigh. Though how they managed to fit such a big sack into one little sleigh. Even they didn't know, but somehow they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Uh, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. Missing? Which reindeer is missing? asked Santa. Uh, the youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's uh, his first flight tonight. Elf, I've called him and I've called him, but... Just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been? asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped in the postcodes of the world. This will guide us to all the houses in no time. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went, racing through the sky. Oh, ho, ho, laughed Santa. We'll soon have parcels delivered to all of the world. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the seas. On they flew in the crisp, wintry air, crossing the coast over hills. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above towns on the right and towns on the left. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They had just crossed Heath when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem worried. In two kilometres, said the Santa nav in a bossy lady's voice. Keep left at the next star. But madam, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. Then through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose, but he had his head down. There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned round to look at Santa. But Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off towards the sound of the bells, pulling Santa and his sleigh behind him. Whoa! cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then to his surprise he heard the ringing sound. 
Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the bells of a church. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Then suddenly, <laughs> the sleigh hit something as it plummeted through snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa nav unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were. Stuck right at the very top of a spire of the biggest cathedral. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might until at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the spire and Santa steered them safely over gardens, over squares, past arches and down to parks. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the parcels had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted out the presents into order again. Right, said Santa. Thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop, all over the houses, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop, all over the world, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could, which was pretty fast for a chubby chap. There were big chimneys and on hills and small chimneys in valleys, he squeezed down thin chimneys in cities and plummeted down fat chimneys in the countryside. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all and it looked like the children of the world were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for parcels of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of the world had left out a large mince pie, a small glass of something and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite out of each mince pie, a tiny sip of something, wiped his beard and popped the carrots into his sack. From town to town and city to city, from seas to land and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in the world. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Alison, Anna, Arabella, Archie, Ashley. The list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibel. Finally, Santa had delivered his last present on his long world list. Great moods and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa shared out the carrots between all the reindeer. Well done, lad, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't even hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to North Pole. And soon they were speeding over rivers, past bridges, through the crisp starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, everyone! And that was the story Santa is Coming, adapted from the story Santa is Coming to London by Steve Smallman. I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas, have a peaceful and relaxed and happy time. Sending healing thoughts to everyone. 
love and light to you all. Merry Christmas.